Hello, I'm Jay Brett Turnbull with Rescue 3 International and we're going to take a look at a Rescue PFD. This is a standard piece of personal protective equipment for a swift water tech or honestly anyone operating near or around moving water. So I've got a knife on here. Uh, it's important that I can reach it and deploy it with either hand uh, given an emergency. Um, I have a watch here. This is for telling the time. Uh, obviously a cell phone is not going to be ideal for that type of environment. So you're going to want to have something that you can use to tell time because that's important when you're out on any sort of missions. Then for communication, I carry a whistle. Uh, it's important it's a whistle without a ball in it so it will work if it's waterlogged. And this is very important because in swift water environments, there's water raging, uh, maybe other obstructions to the sound, and you need to have a way to be able to communicate with your team. Uh, also on here, I have on my quick release, I have a cow's tail, and it's pretty important we have a locking carabiner on there. Uh, that's something that's come around new recently. Uh, it used to be just a non-locking carabiner, and I believe a lot of the manufacturers still sell the cow's tail with a non-locking carabiner. So to be NFPA compliant and meet standards, we want to have a locking carabiner on there. Uh, then obviously the quick release tab and uh, a pocket is always a good idea to have on your jacket uh, to hold items such as gloves, excess webbing, uh, equipment, hardware for building mechanical advantage systems, um, a little bit of trauma dressing for first aid, uh, just any of the things you may think you may need, such as lighting, uh, extra webbing carabiners. I know when I put on a rescue class, I ask all my students, everyone participating in the skills, to carry at least minimal one extra piece of webbing and two carabiners, uh, locking aluminum carabiners with them in their PFD. Because obviously we know working around water, if I've got a piece of webbing and a couple extra carabiners, I can build an anchor system. I can use it as a leash. I can use it for raft flipping, to right the rafts. I can use it for par buckling. There's endless applications for webbing in a swift water and wilderness environment. So make sure your PFD is set up to where you can carry a little bit of extra supplies like that.